Misfit. I'm Simon and I'm a Misfit too. So today's videos we're going to be doing arms and legs for the project of the old man feeding the birds. So we got the torso from the previous video. We got the leg and we got an arm. Okay so let's get started making a leg. We're going to make the leg in two separate parts, the upper part of the leg and the lower part of the leg. As always, we want to start by taking some measurements. So why don't you give us your leg, Adam? Okay. And let's start with the circumference. In a similar way to how we measured the circumference in the torso, we're using the rope. And we're taking the circumference of the top part of the leg, basically where it meets the body. 55 centimeters here. And we're making the smaller rope on the inside, two centimeters smaller all the way around. And this gives us the allowance when we add cement. 45 centimeters. Leg once more. We're gonna do exactly the same thing around the bottom part of the top leg, basically across where the kneecap is. And you wanna run your rope right where the leg bends underneath the leg. And you got 40 centimeters. Thirty-one. So now we want to get the length of the femur of the upper leg. And you want to measure usually from that hip bone right here, the hip ball with the the up, uh, where the upper leg joins the, the hips down to the center of the kneecap. And we've got 40 centimeters here. Now we have the measurements for the top half of the leg. We've cut a piece of metal mesh. Now the circumference we measured was 45 centimeters at the top. We've cut the strip of mesh to give us two extra squares. Two extra squares so that we can tie, curl it around and tie it and it's 40 centimeters long. So let's just tie the top in. We've just tied it in one place to allow us to pivot to make a cone shape. Now the bottom part we measured 31 centimeters. So I'm just going to roll this narrower. And we can test that out. And make sure you don't have any kinks in your wire that everything is nice and flat against it. That's pretty good, 31 centimeters, so we can tie that off now. And now that we have these two points connected, we can go ahead and tie off the rest of them. So here we have it, a cone for the top half of the leg. Now for the bottom part of the leg, we're just going to follow exactly the same procedure. Adam, why don't you give us your leg once again? 40 centimeters. 31 centimeters. 26 centimeters. That's 19 centimeters. And the length we're going to take from the ankle to the knee, which is 40 centimeters. So to make the lower part of the leg, we have cut our strip of mesh, which is 40 centimeters long for the length of the leg and 31 centimeters for the circumference plus two extra squares so that we can tie it off to itself. Now we're just going to make that cone in exactly the same way we did for the upper part of the length. So now we've completed our upper half of the leg and the bottom half of our leg. Now, we need to make one connection so we're able to bend the upper and the lower part of the leg like this. 
So very simply, we take the upper piece to the lower piece and just bend one prong over the upper and one prong over the lower. Great, now that we have our first leg, simply follow the same process for the second leg. Now we're going to show you how to do the arms. For the arms, once again, exactly the same process as what we just showed you with the leg. We're going to take the measurement of Adam's arm, the distance from his shoulder to his elbow for the length, and the circumference from the widest part right to the narrower part where the arm connects for the elbow. And once we have that measurement, we're going to take the measurement for the forearm, the part where it connects with the elbow, all the way to the wrist. So the circumference, the circumference, and the length. So let's take our measurements. 34 centimeters. And 26 centimeters. 28 centimeters. And 22 centimeters. 30 centimeters. 28 centimeters once again. 22 centimeters. 18 centimeters. That's 12 centimeters. And finally, four more. 28 centimeters. So now we have the measurements for the arm. We're going to put, we're going to create two cone shapes and join them together in the same way we did for the leg. So our pre-prepared arm here, we have one cone for the upper part of the arm connected loosely with a pivot to the forearm. So we're just going to create this right away. We've pre-cut a piece of the metal mesh measuring 30 centimeters for the length of the arm and 26 centimeters plus two squares for the circumference. Yeah, and one thing I like to do with these smaller diameter tubes is to pre-shape the metal a little bit. It just makes it easier to put it together when you assemble it. So I'm just going to shape it a little bit like this. Give it a couple rolls. Okay, we'll open it back up and then overlap two squares. Just like before. 22 centimeters. 28 And your upper arm should look just like this. And same process again for the forearm. We've got the 28 centimeters for the length and the widest part of the circumference, which is 22 centimeters. We're going to make another cone shape. Perfect. And we can join those together by just folding over a couple of prongs. There we have our other arm. So now we have our torso. We've got the two legs and the two arms. In the next video, we're going to show you how to bring it all together. So until next time, See you later. See you later.